Hi. Hi. Today we shall be developing serial correlation or auto correlation in the in the regression model today we shall be developing serial correlation or auto correlation in the model and the thing is that when the residuals when the residuals are correlated then problem of serial correlation occurs and when a model is affected affected by serial correlation then we cannot accept the result of the estimated regression model okay here today we shall be developing serial correlation or autocorrelation in the model when the residuals are correlated then problem of serial correlation occurs meaning that uh, when the residuals of the estimated regression model are highly correlated when the residuals of the estimated model are cor correlated normally then the problem of serial correlation occurs right and when a model is affected by serial correlation then we cannot we cannot accept the result of the estimated model okay now we shall develop a serial correlation from our data so suppose it is our data we have three variable y x1 x2 right the data is here you can see y y is the dependent variable and x2 is the independent variable and x1 is the independent variable and the data is like this you can see from here the sample size is 90 okay sorry sample size is 30 not 90 sample size is 30 now now first we shall develop the uh, model then we shall be checking whether this model is suffering from serial uh, correlation or not so that uh, we shall be checking okay so first I go to analyze right then I go to li li linear model linear re regression model I choose it okay then uh, so I'm doing again I'm doing again so here y is the dependent variable I put it here and x2 x1 are the independent variable I put it here so this is my model y is the dependent x2 x1 are the independent variable okay then I check statistics right statistics here is here here 
okay after clicking statistics so I choose uh, estimate I select estimate and I select model fit and I select Durbin Watson what is it so this one is a test to check whether the residuals are serially correlated or not so uh, I am telling again I am telling again there are many ways to check serial correlation but one way is Durbin Watson statistics to check whether residuals are correlated or not okay so I choose this one then I click continue I click on the continue then I click OK I click OK so the result is coming up just one minute So it is my computer is very slow so it is taking some time to come up hmm. my computer is a very old computer and not good computer you know very small size everything is small so it takes longer time to get the outcome okay so from here it is the outcome you can see So here, first I talk about model summary, right? So this one, model summary. So I make it big for you, so that I, you can see better. I make it big, okay, I make it big. So I make it cell properties, make it 16. I make it 16, right? And then I press OK. So the result is big, okay? From here you can see the R squared value of this model is 24.3% and here in this model Y is the dependent variable and X1, X2 are independent variable and here R squared is very small 24.3% that means the data is not fitted well or the variable the model itself is not fitted well because R squared is only 24.3 percent so we are not happy about this model fit okay then we check ANOVA whether F statistics is significant or not I make it big so that you can see better cell properties I make it 16 right okay okay it is the ANOVA and it is the F statistics and corresponding significant value or the probability value or P value okay here the P value is 2.3% meaning that less than 5% meaning that F statistics is significant meaning that X1 and X2 these two variable are significant and they can explain why significantly okay I'm telling again X1, X2 are jointly significant to influence our dependent variable which is Y. So we are happy about it because it is desirable for a model that F statistics should be significant. So that is uh, desirable all the time. Okay. 
then coefficient test I make it big okay I'm sorry it's taking time okay make it big make it 16 right sell properties I go to 16 make it so big okay it is now so big okay coefficient okay uh, uh, what is x x2 is it significant x2 variable so I come here thus uh, the significant value or p value is how much the p value is 58.8 percent which is more than 5 percent meaning that x2 is not a significant variable to influence our dependent variable which is y then what about second variable x2 is it significant variable to explain y okay the answer is here that the significant value is very small it is only 0 0.0.7 0 percent which is less than 5 percent meaning that meaning that x1 is individually significant to explain why okay so we are happy about the model because out of two variable one is significant meaning that x1 is the significant and the thing is that what is the guideline the guideline is if most of the variables are significant then we can accept the model and here at least 50 percent of the variables are significant so we can accept this model okay in this model what is happening the r square is very small 24.3 percent so we are not happy but f statistics is significant so in that case if the f statistics is significant but r square is low in that case there is no problem we can accept the model because what is r square uh, okay okay oh, what what is r square talk about r square talk about whether x1 and x2 jointly can influence y or not but this r square only talk about within the sample not within the population so this result 24.3 percent is within the sample so within the sample within within the sample x1 and x2 can influence y very small amount but f statistics talk about joint significance in the population not in the sample and here f statistics is significant meaning that x1 and x2 jointly can influence y so f statistics result is more important than r square result although the r square is small but f statistics is significant then we can accept the result and when the f statistics is significant meaning that x1 and x2 are joint can influence y and th that is in the population so that is more important than sample which is r square r square result Okay, in this model, F statistics is significant. We are happy about it. 
then coefficient out of 2 1 is significant right 1 is significant we are happy about it now we want to check whether this model has serial correlation or not if there is a serial correlation then we cannot accept this model right? we cannot accept the model because the model must be free from serial correlation that is the guideline okay and and we shall be checking the serial correlation from the Durbin Watson statistics from these statistics we shall be checking whether our model is suffering from serial correlation or not.